This is R.D. Sharma Solution, Class 11, Chapter 29, Limits. Exercise is 29.6. This is question number 18. Here we have limit extends to infinity under root x. It's outside and inside this we have under root x plus 1 minus under root x. So if we replace x by infinity, it will be infinity into infinity minus infinity. So we are going to get infinity. So we are going to multiply it with the rationalization factor rf we have to use here so this is minus multiply numerator denominator by plus plus so a minus b a plus b a square minus b square will come so you have x plus 1 minus x x x cancel you have 1 and in denominator you have have under root x plus 1 plus under root x now exactly same question we have already done so the way it is done here i'll, I'll just take a different view so you have under root x by under root x plus 1 inside and under root x. So what you will do under root x you can take a common from numerator denominator and here it is being shown that under root x we will take in the denominator. This also we will see in the next uh, coming questions but here you see this is under root x. Here I am taking in this under root x plus 1 let me show you what I have done here. So under root x plus 1 I am taking x outside it will not, uh, not outside root but x outside so x 1 plus 1 by x now i'm taking under root x outside so you have under root x into under root 1 plus 1 by x okay so under root x this is under root x under root 1 plus 1 by x and of course we have under root x here so we are taking this under root x under root x common and inside this we are going to get root 1 plus 1 by x and plus 1 and this root x root x gets cancelled so we have 1 by under root 1 plus 1 by x and plus 1 so now let's apply the limit 1 by infinity or anything by infinity is going to be 0 because infinity is a very 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 big number which we don't know it's 1 by under root 1 plus 1 under root 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so 1 by 2 is the answer here now this is question number 19 limit n tends to infinity 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square and this goes up to 1 by 3 to the power n. So n tends to infinity, if we apply n tends to infinity here, it will be 1 by infinite. That is 0, you get 1 by 3, 1 uh, by 3 to the power n. So how to get this uh, previous terms, how to get this that addition? Okay. So here, 1 by 3 to the power infinity will not work. We cannot apply here. So let us take this 1 by 3 common from here. Basically, this is a GP and we'll make it as a GP first and then we'll do the final uh, conversion or limiting. So, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 square, 1 by 3 cube and this is 1 by 3 to the power n. 1 by 3 I'm taking common. So, you have 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square and this goes up to 1 by 3 raised to the power n minus 1 dot dot dot. This is not plus dot dot dot. So, we have 1 by 3. And this term, this is, this is in GP or this series is a GP series. So 1 by 3 by 1 is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 squared by 1 by 3 is 1 by 3. So common ratio is 1 by 3. So we have A 1 minus R to the power N minus 1 and 1 minus R is the summation. A into 1 minus R to the power N 1 minus R. A is 1 here and R is 1 by 3. So we have A that is 1. So just ignore 1 and A 1 minus R to the power N by 1 minus R. So R we are going to put as 1 by 3. So we have 1 minus R to the power n, 1 by 3 to the power n by 1 minus R, 1 minus, 1 minus 3. As I said, A you can uh, just uh, ignore because 1 into anything is one, same number. So 1 minus 1 by 3. Now 1 by 3 is all, already you have outside. So 1 by 3 and this 1 minus 1 by 3 is 3 minus 1 by 3. That is 2 by 3. So you have 1 minus 3 to, 3 to the power n, 3 raised to n. So 3 raised n, if you put n as a infinity here, it won't work. But here, if you apply infinity here and as infinity, then 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n, 1 by 3 to the power n will be 1 by infinity that is one, 0. So 1 minus 0 it will be. So 1 by infinity is 0. So 1 minus 0 it is. So you have 1 here. And you have 1 by 3 by 2 by 3. So 3, 3 gets cancelled. 1 by 2 will come. Okay, 1 by 2 is going to come. 
थ्री टिकेट्स के आंसर वन बाई टू नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सी दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी वन आर एग्जैक्टली सेम सो वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट हियर वेन यू हैव दिस वन लिमिट एक्सटेंड्स टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी अंडर रूट फोर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस टू एक्स सो एक्स इज टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी माइनस इन्फिनिटी सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लेफ्ट साइड इन्फिनिटी दैट इज नॉट हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट माइनस इन्फिनिटी हियर सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस माइनस इन्फिनिटी इन टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी ओके सो हाउ टू चेंज इट माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी नाउ वी आर पुटिंग एक्स एस ए सम माइनस एम एक्स एस सम माइनस एम वेन वी पुट एक्स एस एस सम माइनस एम now this minus m we are putting x as minus m so minus m tends to minus infinity that is m tends to infinity okay minus some minus m which is tending to minus infinity so m should be tending to infinity so just to get rid of minus infinity we are using this that is m tends to infinity we are replace an x by minus m So m tends to infinity. So wherever you get this x term, just replace it by minus m. Replace it by minus m. We are replacing it by minus m. So this x, I am putting x as minus m. Just this you have to do, and this will remain true for the next question also. So I am putting x as minus m. So under root, so minus infinity you have. I am putting this as minus m. So x is minus m. M minus m whole square is m square only. So you have minus plus seven into, and you have plus minus two m, and seven into m. That is plus seven m. It will be plus seven m. So now here, rationalization you have to do, because if you put m as infinity, everything is going to be infinity. So if you put m as infinity, all will be infinity. So this is plus actually. Now apply the rationalization factor RF. So this this is minus so multiplied by plus a square minus b square. So you have four m square plus seven m minus two m whole square is four m square. So this two m square two m square gets cancelled. Four m square four m square gets cancelled. You have seven m by under root four m square plus seven m plus two m. Okay. So this is a what we are going to do here i showed you here what we have done in a is a different way right now we are going to do it in a different way how you have this uh, let me show you here 7m by under root 4m square plus 7m and you have 2m now let us take this m in the denominator m we are taking it in the denominator so you have m cancels here m is not there so we are taking in denominator 4m square plus 7m Divided by m and plus two m by m. So what do you get here? Seven by. Now m you have to take inside. When you take m inside the under root, it will be m square in uh, the in the denominator. So four m square by m square plus seven m by m square and outside you have plus two m by m. So it will be m m cancelled two. So for m square m square gets cancelled. You have under root four. That is under root four plus seven by m and then plus two. So this seven by m m now apply the infinity m tends to infinity seven by m seven by infinity is zero. So this is zero. Seven by under root four plus two under root four plus so two plus two seven by four it is. Seven by four is the answer. Twenty one. So as I said, same thing you have to do because x is tending to minus infinity. So minus infinity you have to change it into plus infinity. Plus infinity. So this x is equal to just replace x as minus m. So when x is tending to minus infinity, m is m is going to be infinity. M is tending to infinity. So now put m minus m in the place of x. So minus m square is m square, and then you have eight into minus m that is minus eight m, and minus m minus uh, that is going to be uh, plus x plus minus m. Now rationalization factor same thing you have to go, going to do. and uh, this formation you have already encountered in the previous question so i'm taking m in the denominator m inside the under root so it will be m square m square you have 1 by this m by m so 1 will come outside
so we have this m by m is 1 here you have 8 m square m square is going to cancel 1 and then 8 m by m square is 8 by m so 8 by under root 1 plus 8 by m plus 1 now apply the infinity 1 plus 8 by m okay so 8 8 by under root 1 plus under root 1 under root 1 plus 1 8 by 2 that is 4 now question number 22 limit x tends to infinity x to the power 4 7x cube plus 46x plus a by x to the power 4 plus 6 now here we have to use this because this is a quite a question which we have already done just take the highest power divide numerator denominator by it so we have this x to the power 4 is the highest power and uh, dividing everything by every element by x to the power 4 I am doing this then you have x4 then you have a to the power x a by x to the power 4 so you have x4 by 4 and 6 by x4 now this is going to be 1 this is going to be 7 by x this is 46 by x cube it's not x square it's x cube and then we have a by x to the power 4 it is cube a by x to the power 4 okay this is uh, denominator is going to be 1 x4 by x4 is 1 and plus 6 by x4 now wherever you have x uh, in the denominator limit x tends to infinity it is going to be that particular term is going to be 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 uh, this is all 6 by x to the power 4 will be 0 so 1 and 1 is left 1 by 1 is 1 this is going to be your answer 1 by 1 now question number 23 the question is fx is equal to ax square plus b by x square plus 1 and given limit x tends to 0 fx is equal to 1 and there is one more thing and limit x tends to infinity fx equals 1 so this is given in the question there is there are more things given which i am writing here so let us understand the question first so we have f fx this fx equal x square plus b by x square plus 1 is already given there is one more thing given limit x tends to infinity fx equals 1 so we have to prove f minus 2 f2 equals 1 if you place x as minus 2 or 2 it is going to be 1 so first is first is you have, you have the first thing which is given so fx equals x square plus b by x square plus 1 so just put it here so you have uh, i'm putting x as 0 because direct see this is a direct uh, substitution because nothing is going to be infinity or uh, indiscriminate so a into x square a is 0 and x is 0 means x is 0 so a x will be 0 x square will be 0 so a first thing is uh, b equal 1 now coming to second one limit x tends to infinity same term fx we are going to do and it's equal to 1 it's equals 1 so what is the highest power here see a x square plus b we are dividing it by x square so you have a x square by x square i'm dividing everything by x square so you have this this and because we cannot directly apply x tends to infinity here so now b by x square and 1 by x square is going to be 0 so you have a question it is given a is equal to 1 means this term is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 by this question now f x is what a x square plus b by x square plus 1 now put a as 1 and b is 1 so you have x square plus 1 by x square plus 1 which is going to be cancelled so it's a constant it's 1 so if you put f2 f minus 2 f100 whatever number is you put in x it's constant it will always come as one it's always one okay so this is how we do this question number 24 here is uh, we we are dealing with the factorial so limit at n tends to infinity n plus 2 factorial plus n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 2 factorial minus n plus 1 factorial okay so how to handle this see n plus 1 n plus 1 is in the numerator n plus 2 n plus 2 is also there, also there. so we can reduce n plus 2 to n plus 1 but we cannot reduce n plus n plus 1 as to n plus 2 so what we will do n plus 2 can be written as factorial n plus 2 
and factorial factorial n plus 2 and n plus 2 minus 1. So, inside you have n plus 2 minus 1, so n plus 1 and you have plus factorial n plus 1, right. And in the denominator you have same thing n plus 2, you have n plus 1 and you have n plus minus n factorial n plus 1. Now, I take this uh, n plus 1 uh, factorial common from numerator denominator, so n plus 1, here also n plus 1. So, what, what are you going to go get inside? is going to be n plus 2 plus 1 in the numerator and n plus 2 minus 1 in the denominator. So, n plus 2 plus 1 is n plus 3 and n plus 2 minus 1 is going to be n plus 1. So, finally you get n plus 3 by n plus 1 and limit is, is n ten, tends to infinity. Okay. Finally, this uh, factorial we have uh, eliminated and now we have n plus 3 by n plus n plus 1. Now, when you apply n tends to infinity, it will be infinity by infinity that we cannot deal. So, we have to take the highest power which is n, n to the power 1 and we divide, we divide every term by n. Okay. So, you have n by n plus 3 by n, n by n plus 1 by n. This is 1 plus 3 by n and 1 plus 1 by n. This is going to be 0, this is going to be 0, 1 by 1 is 1 because n is infinity, so it is going to be 0. So, 1 is the answer. Okay, so this is all about the exercise. Next time we are going to deal with the evaluation of trigonometric limits. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.